Karen is an anti-woman slur by Shoe on Head. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say the uh-huh. word. So you remember a few <laughs> months ago when boomer was a slur? Uh-huh. Boomer is the N-word of ageism. Being hip and flip does not make bigotry okay. Well, I regret to inform hip and you, flip. the internet is back at it again. The new slur to hit the uh-huh. outrage market is the name Karen. Karen is a slur. Really? Just take a wild guess at what group of people is behind this. That's right. The TERFs. The trans-exclusionary radical feminist. Because I guess TERF is a slur. What is a TERF? I've I've vaguely heard of this. This is... What is this? didn't catch on. So there's like a pandemic going on. Like nobody's going out in public. So right. the TERFs can't like go into women's restrooms and pull the pants down trans kids. <laughs> so they're a little what? bored. So Julie Bendel. Yes, that Julie Bendel tweeted this. Literally who? Night. Does anyone else think the Karen slur is woman hating and based on class prejudice? Oh my god, here we go again. It's Twitter. You know, after a certain period of time, I feel like I just I've seen it all, but I, I have not seen it all. And it really is quite depressing, actually. So if you guys don't know what the Karen slur is. Karen is a meme. It's used to describe yeah. like the can I speak to the manager attitude, complainy, whiny, first world. It's an That's archetype. What being a Karen is. Now I've called men Karen. Yes. Like that one theme park reviewer that like uh, complained about a Starbucks being closed during a category five hurricane. I'm sorry. Wait, what? I think it was a bit premature for Starbucks. So close. Uh. Starbucks to close Orlando store starting yesterday. I get safety of staff, but you're only... Oh, God, I hate Twitter formatting because he doesn't play for Twitter Blue, so he could have made this longer, but he's not making it longer, so I have any work in the character cap. I get the safety of staff, but you're the only business closed in this complex yesterday, and our Dorian forecast is clear even today. Disappointed one of my favorite companies. Hashtag Hurricane Dorian. Like, dude's a Karen, but dude's also just an idiot like <laughs> why i hate twitter exhibit number like 975 that was a male karen yes. karen is like a type of person it's an attitude i love yes. this by the way i've got a mate named karen and i love her just saying listen sure. I'm karen friends okay yes it's sexist classist and ageist in that order. So like, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them a little bit of leeway. I could see how they see it's kind of sexist because it is a, it is a female name. So sure, let's give them that. Even if we want to give them that, right? I like that she's approaching this this way. Sure, just call him like Brad, right? Or something, something like that, right? Dude, such a Brad move. God, Brad and Karen, can't believe them, right? Grats, you've crossed over from a female name to a male name cool i guess super if, type if remains if you're gonna like look through the lens of like a feminist i could see how karen is that short like i'm tr i'm really trying we're stretching I'm, here you can tell that i'm trying Gymnastics. very hard to play devil's avocado here <laughs> it's not working <laughs> just shut the fuck up it's not sexist the classist one is is the part that gets me though because the karen insult is usually aimed at like upper class or middle class people mm -hmm. who are looking down at working class or poor people that's the whole can i speak to the manager because they're like mad at like employees mm -hmm. they're mad at like the minimum wage workers i'm just gonna tell yeah. you right now i am a middle class white woman i give you all the k word pass you can all say karen <laughs> yes i think race might play a role as well what? i've never seen a woman of color referred to as a karen <laughs> they're look at them like just we're really stretching like this is this is kind of wild mental gymnastics to like work through <sighs> dude like I can't imagine having this narrow of a worldview. I really can't. Like, I'm trying to think about it, and I'm like, I, I'm trying to imagine if my entire world fit into, like, a, like, two by four made into a cube, right? Wow, dude. Like, wow. Reaching so hard for these oppression points. These women just, like, clearly want to have their own N-word. New meme format. Same old misogyny. 
Women who speak up for themselves seek to clarify they are being taken advantage of or dare challenge someone with authority, parentheses, the manager, don't uh -huh. know their place, ridicule until silenced or return to private sphere, reformat, repeat. What? I love it. It's just like parentheses, the manager, <laughs> definitely. They're running out of insults for women and making them up, f***ing idiots. Love to all the Karens. Homie, you missed the entire point of that. We're calling, so calling somebody a Karen and calling them out, right? Is like, sure, if you want to make it about, well, let's just make it completely gender neutral. The Karen archetype, super type, whatever you want to call it, is referring to the people that are going to get up in your face and they're going to have that aura of entitlement and just be aggressive about it, right? So, for example, restaurant closes in 15 minutes. You go in. You say, I want the most expensive things on the menu, right? And they, they, it's like a big order, right? Or they come in 10 minutes to close with an eight top, right? No, well, I, well we're not going to serve you. It's too close. It's too close, especially for that many people. Well, I want to speak to your manager. This is, this is outrageous. We close in 10 minutes. Well, this is outrageous, right? Remember how to, you know, just don't be a dick. That, that's being a dick, right? Or going to a box store, right? And then you're just like... You, you know, oh, well, you, well why, why don't you have this product in stock? Why aren't you taking my return? Well, you see, ma'am and or sir, right? Gender neutral, right? Well, you see, we, uh, you know, we, we just can't take the return. It's been too long or this item very specifically doesn't have returns. I need to speak to your manager. You have to have another in the back somewhere. You know, I, I need my needs to be met. I need to be serviced. Cool. Congrats on being a dick, I guess. Like, you see how it's an archetype of person? And it's not gender specific. And we've absolutely seen people across the gender spectrum, male, female, non-binary, whatever, right? We've seen people that engage in these kind of attitudes and these kind of activities, right? They have these conversations. It's not relegated to a gender or a specific, you know, status, right? You have the mentality of the Karen. There's like a Karen uprising happening. Karen solidarity. When I was in my 20s, the slur against younger working class women was Sharon and Tracy. I, I honestly know this. cannot think of any equivalent for men, but I am so sick of women. Oh. <laughs> what? The American people are tired of women. Including what? those of us that have devoted our lives to women's liberation, being spoken about so disrespectfully. Oh, I love how Julie Bendel is going off about disrespect. This is like one of the most infamous man-hating feminists out there. Look, this is literally an article from her. This summer, why not indulge in some good old-fashioned man-hating? And Okay. I want to bring up really quick what happens if I made if someone like me or a male right man made this exact same post but said this about women would we not be canceled off the internet and and honestly right Lisa would we not be like pitch you know torch and pitchforked at don't be a dick like I don't understand why there's just this acceptance right like why it's okay to I, I, I don't I don't even know man like it's okay to not like men okay to not like women like just don't be a dick about it like I, I okay weird marketing move um can't say I'm a fan like but then again I'm a man so I'm not the target demographic for this and even then I'm sorry this it's probably just certain groups and it's also just like I don't know this is this one's weird to me what a weird marketing move. And it's about the f***ing scum manifesto. Have you guys ever read the scum what manifesto? What is this? What is that? I've always wanted to do like a reading of it on my channel. It's like Mein Kampf for what? like radical feminists. What? Nuts. <laughs> Why not some good old fashioned man hating? She's like, Karen is disrespectful. Like, shut up, dude. Any 30 plus woman who speaks up for herself, who is having a bad day, who has a haircut you don't like, Karen memes have gotten old. I love wow. how they're just excusing, like, the pushy, entitled attitude of these women people make fun of by being like, any woman who has a bad day. I had a Karen throw a frozen ice cream cake at me when I worked at an ice cream store because she came in, like, a minute before we closed and yeah. the soft serve machine was down.
Do you guys have any Karen stories? I would love to hear it. Put your uh, Karen stories in the comments. I oh my god, so many. None that I can recall offhand, but oh my god. There's a couple that I have from when I worked in finance, actually. Uh, oh, ooh, I got a good one. Shoe and head, this one's for you. So, I have a really good one from finance, where I did work in, worked in finance, and I had somebody call in, right? I'm, I'm gonna, obviously, anonymize details of this for obvious reasons. And... They had, like, I think 20 overdraft fees, right? Like, you know, your account zero, you're opted into the overdraft program. They will, you, you, it will make sure your card does not decline within a reasonable amount, right? Which is set by the institution and not public information. Um, and then, uh, then you'll, and there's a fee attached onto it, right? Which is set by the institution, right? Depending on what that is. It's generally cheaper than an insufficient funds fee, but still good information. Anyways, after, I'm not explaining the back end of that because I don't know what I can and can't explain about that. In any event, calls in like 20 fees, 20 overdraft fees, wanted each and every one of them reversed. And I look at their history and it's like, because, oh, look, if you've been with us for 20 years and I can see all that history, I can see an overdraft fee you had back in like 2009, okay? <laughs> Okay, he keeps certain systems will keep track of that software, and I'm sure it differs from institution to institution. But this person clearly had a habit of abusing the overdraft system. Hey, are you having a problem with the overdraft system? What kind of happened, right? Like, do you just not get paid? Did you just not pay attention? Did you just not give an F, right? Didn't say it that way, right? Did you just not care. And it's just like, oh, well, I just want to reverse. You know, I, I, I'm a customer here. I've been a customer here for years. And it's just like, let me let me talk to someone about this. And even then, it's like, I mean, I'll do one to two at most, right? But no, like, no, they, they're clearly abusing the system. And they're, they're just like, I can't believe you're not going to reverse any fees for me. Because my decision was to not reverse any overdraft fees. You have abused the overdraft system in the past. And they, currently, you have 20 overdraft fees in your account. I'm not, do, I'm not giving you money back. I'm not going to... Uh, enable you right i'm not going to enable you to continue this behavior i'm not going to enable bad financial habits right and i was i was the uh the problem there you know i, I think that they did escalate it to management but that's a karen story that i could pull out of my brain overdraft fees were kind of a nightmare to deal with and it, it, every situation is different you have to look at it by a case-by-case -case basis you have to look at it you know as if they're each unique there are sometimes people that don't get paid there are sometimes people that have some fraudulent charges come out and then you know because they're still dealing with the dispute process right they're not able to have the funds in the account at the time there, there's a number of reasons here right and honestly if you're having issues or you have questions speak to your financial institution if you have a licensed financial advisor speak to them about this right this is all information you should be asking and being learned on right don't don't take some internet random at their word. Like, please do your research, especially when it comes to finance and your finances. But no, especially when it comes to money, the uh, the Karen super type, Karen archetype, they they get really, really on you about it. it it's and then you wonder, is this OK? And then you think about it really hard. No, this isn't OK. They're just idiots. <laughs> I'm really sick of your Sharon shaming For sake. It's the Sharons and Karens who are helping keep you fed and looking after your gran. Go on, show me how funny you are by making a mocking meme about Ben, Ahmed, who? or Akini. Come on. Go on, I fucking dare you. They are really mad about this. It's the Karens Fuming. and the Sharons that are keeping society afloat. So uh -huh, I found I'm this sure. on our gender critical, which is the same same subreddit that I talked about in my I don't want a baby boy video where the turfs talk about how they would abort their child if it was a boy. So Oh they my were god, I remember that. I remember that being a widespread thing on social media. How long ago was this video? It's already been four years, dear god complaining about the Karen slur a year ago. I hate Karen. It's such an example of rampant casual misogyny. Or that is that causal. The woke <laughs> crowd has no issues using the Karen, can I speak to the manager, middle-aged white soccer mom trope because she is represented as a middle-aged unsexy. Hey, I take offense to that. We've all seen the Stacy's mom video, okay? Stacy's mom had it going on. Also, woke has zero meaning. It's something that I don't like. Anything you don't like, it's woke, right? Or anything you don't like, it's cringe. It is the catch-all, right? Don't like Destiny 2's new DLC. It's woke. It's cringe. Don't like what the, the new policy at work. It's woke. It's cringe, right? Don't like the new Marvel movie. It's woke. It's cringe. You see how the word has, like, no meaning? 
it, it has no meaning. It, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a catch-all complaint. Like, it's anything can be woke, anything can be cringe, because you assign the definition to it for anything that you don't like. So it, when anyone starts to use these words, especially in any serious capacity, I, I just, I, it's just white noise. I tune out everything else they say. Cis white woman, talk about mommy issues. Having worked fast food, I can tell you that 95% of our problematic customers were men. If a woman ever rolled her eyes at me or said something stupid, it was nothing compared to the aggressive, creepy, transgressive and destructive uh -huh. behavior constantly displayed by males. I hate when people call males. women males and females. It's just weird. Femoids and moids. It pisses me off too. <laughs> hey guys, you ever talk to one of them females? It's so, it's so creepy, dude. Like, come on, man. Like, okay. Like when it comes to like, right, Pokemon, play a lot of Pokemon, right? Bred a lot of Pokemon over the years in the games, right? You know, massive IV breeder, massive, you know, person that's wanted to play competitively, never other people really play competitive with, right? So, you know, yeah, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's that's a, you know, I take my female Centiscorch and breed it with this. You see how I'm doing it more of like a classification kind of thing, like a professor or someone like a sciencey would, right? Not like it's like, I gotta go hang out with those females, guys. It's it's so it's so creepy to me, dude. Like, like what is going on? It's always okay for a woman to be the butt of a joke. No, never. What? What reality do you live in where that is true? If you make fun of a woman, there'll be like 20 simps coming for your throat. And other women like, <laughs> how dare you that you're being misogynistic. Like, it, is, <laughs> it is not socially acceptable to be mean or make women the butt of a joke. Could you yeah. imagine commercials making like the wives stupid and clumsy? How do I pour this carton of milk? Whoa! I think what happened- Did we have something like that? I'm like vaguely reminded of a commercial or some sort of ad campaign is it the 50s or 60s something about moms and smoking when smoking was starting to turn and you know hey maybe we shouldn't smoke i feel like this is a thing but i feel like i could also be making this up i feel like there have been instances of that but generally just don't make fun of people unless they prove themselves to be actually just idiots right like you can poke fun at the the you know uh things that happened recently uh, 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 in Praise of Shadows, right? For putting out a hit piece that wasn't researched, that was just drama baiting, drama tubing, that was just putting out just a hit piece to be a hit piece. Yeah, people can make fun of that. Also, you have people like me that's like, this dude needs serious mental help. Like, he needs to step away. He needs to, like, just take some time and, like, reflect and find enlightenment or something. Like, just don't be a dick. Like, regardless of who it is, right? I don't care. Like, male, female, transgender, non binary toaster f15 i always say it's my catchphrase at this point effectively just don't be a dick right don't be a dick and also and i don't know then we then we enter this weird like phenomenon where people will purposely misgender people and what i mean by that specifically right is if you have an instigating party right and say they identify say they were male i don't they transitioned to female right and you know, they, then they have an L take or something like that, and they know it is known by people that they used to be male and they transition to female. They will just call them male out of some weird spite thing. I don't quite understand that. I don't. It's like no, you have an L take because you're a person having an L take. Like, cause people start people start getting weird. Like I've seen Grand Thumb attacked over his marriage, and I'm like, this has no bearing to anything happening at all in this in in this exact moment and it's things like that that i look at and it's like guys you have to keep this like 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 professional you got you have to keep this reasonable and rational right that's like if i were to do something right if i were if i were to say the n-word right and you're like well it's because it's because kip is pretty feminine right it's like what okay what bearing does it have on this discussion right i don't think i'm feminine first of all second it's like, well, Kip, you're just an egg, or oh, you're just a female trapped in a dude's body. What does that have anything to do with me saying the N word, right? Like, you see how that's just leagues apart from the source of like the crux of the issue. I, the internet is a, a truly wild place. What happens when women in midlife act up is they, we, are sick of taking shit from all corners and have gotten rid of the f 
facts there were to give. What is it that's comical or pathetic to people about Karen? Is it the perception that she's over the top about comparatively trivial that stuff? she's a dick. If I'm paying $30 for dick. pasta I could make at home, it had not better be waterlogged. I want dressing on the side because I don't want a totally sauce salad. And nope, I don't trust people to get it right without soused? my emphasis because I have met a critical mass of humans and I know what they're like. I'm nice about it. Absolutely. I'm eating an entire plate of waterlogged pasta. No, I am not. I love how these people are just what? trying to defend themselves from the Karen insult, but are being complete Karens. Your purpose yeah. for ex- So here's the thing, right? I un Okay, I can get behind, and hear me out. Let, let, me, let me finish this thought, right? I can get behind the critique regarding going out. If I'm going to go out and I'm going to spend uh we're we're going to we're going to price check this. I have to do this off stream. But we're going to price check this. So, if we go to Ruth's uh Chris steak house, right? So, I don't even know if I can actually find the menu. Let's just say cuz it looks like 50 to 100 dollars on Google, right? Ruth, Ruth's Chris steak house very well-known steakhouse, uh, very upscale for a lot of people. If I'm going to spend $100 on a steak, it better be a good steak, right? I understand that, right? If I spend $100 for a steak and it's like, and I, and I want it rare or I want it mid-rare and I get carpet, right? Okay, like, I understand. And you know how you fix that? You can either say, hey, look, I'm sorry, like, I, I, I ordered med medium well, I ordered rare, or like, medium rare, or I ordered rare, like, can, can I, I'm sorry, I really hate to impose on you, but, you know, um, can I, can I get rare, can I get what I ordered, please? And then at that point, it's up to them or not, right? But people will jump to, oh, I'm going to leave a negative Yelp review, and oh, well, you know, I, I just, you know, how could you? I want to speak to the head chef, I want to speak to the manager, and I'll tell you how to really do it. It's like, just, I get it, right? If I'm going to go out, and I'm going to spend money on a product, right, I want to get what I ordered and I want it to reasonably taste good but that's also with the understanding that yeah like <laughs> if you can make it better you could do it better you are spending the money to save the time by going out and at the at that point if you don't like it you know like a uh, uh, burger chain right burger chain has consistently every time I've gone gotten my order wrong do I complain at them no do I try to make a big scene out of it? No. I just don't go back there. Or maybe I'll go back there sometime. If they mess it up again, it's like, well, I mean, I'll just go to other burger places, right? You handle it like an adult. I understand where they're trying to go. I'm understanding the logic. I think they're coming to the wrong and more aggressive conclusion, though. And that's a problem to me. Existing in their man's world is to be abused by men. No. That is what you are here no, for. No, never. To be their punched bags. No. Just there so men have something they can all unite against in the name of their manhood and throw rocks at. No. To elevate the significance of their male selves in their male empires. Wrong. Oh my god. I'm actually concerned. Is this person okay? No, Karen they're not. is a racist and a sexist slur. This is 152 days ago. So this isn't new. The TERFs have been complaining about Karen being a slur for quite Dude. some time now. In a world. <laughs> In a world? Bro, the opening. In a world. Where combating racism is considered to be woke as and combating sexism is too. Why the hell does YouTube My, go racist and sexist? Why is there no period? What What is this punctuation? No way. Oh my god, dude, this punctuation, please. Anti-MLM channels. These people do everything in their power to promote being assholes to hardworking business women like myself. We got a CEO. We got a female CEO on our hands, everybody. And see anyone that doesn't support their anti-women agenda as brainwashed sheep. Wake up, sheeple, to the Karen question. Seriously, look how many people they refer to as Karen. A racist slur against whites. A sexist slur against women and an ageist slur against mothers. How the f are they getting away with this? If a white girl sings a Drake song, she gets booed off stage and taken away by security. But if a bunch of people start referring to business women, frugal mothers and older women who have standards okay. by a slur meant to slander them at any turn, yes, yeah, sweetie, you are entirely in the wrong. Okay, so I think what she's this, this author is trying to go with is kind of an appropriation approach, right? Where it's been it's been pitched to me that uh, your kid should not cosplay as Black Panther unless they're black, right? 
and the logic that it goes with is you have Spider-Man, you have uh, Deadpool, you have so many other superheroes that your kid could reasonably wear a costume for, and that there's not a whole lot of black superheroes. I don't know. I grew up with Static Shock, so I just kind of like completely like, yeah, I don't know. I like Static Shock. Static Shock was honestly really cool, but at least that's the logic being pitched to me. So when she's like, if a white girl sings a Drake song, right? Okay. Like one was, well, one was you're singing bad, right? You probably got booed off the stage because it was bad too. Why were you on the stage to begin with? That's probably why you got taken away by security. Like if taking this in a vacuum as it's presented, if you're trying to make this about appropriation, you could have used a much better analogy to get that across in my opinion, at the very least. And even then, you know, I, I let other people discuss that, right? Like I haven't seen black Panther. I have no reason to cosplay Black Panther. If anything, I want to cosplay... What is it? I wanted to go to a convention. I wanted to wear a uh, wartime Obito, right? White mask with a goonbai. I kind of wanted to wear that to a convention and see how that went. Because that'd be really funny, actually. I like Ob uh, Toby Obito. Tobito, as we called him. Like, I don't know. She seems pretty innocuous. Seems pretty fine. I don't know. But people much more versed in this can have those discussions. And at the end of the day, do what you want. I personally don't care. Don't be a dick. This Karen is choosing to be a dick, right? And at the end of the day, if Karen offends you, you're probably in the group we're complaining about, and you probably do these things that we're complaining about. Showing up to the restaurant 10 minutes before close with an eight top saying, I want the menu. My, but You couldn't have come by any other time 10 minutes till close, my guy? Bruh. 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 Karen is a slur against women who have standards. To all the Karens out there caught in the crossfire, I got your back. Solidarity forever. Oh my god. I was joking From an about anonymous the Karen Reddit. solidarity thing. But here it is, unironically. I just, I can't even make jokes anymore. No. The worst part is that now if I think of a funny white mom joke, I have to keep it to myself or the men will think I'm one of them. Incredible. Just incredible. I what? I don't even know what to say. Also, what do you I'm say to that? Mistaken, wasn't Karen originally one of those manosphere terms of contempt for women like Carol and State? Three up votes. The next thing you know, there's going to be like a Washington Post opinion piece about how Karen is an alt right dog whistle. Okay, Karen, the casual misogyny of Karen memes. Karen has her own family to prioritize. She does not have time to coddle other men. Karen is a victim of redundancy from male gaze. The male Karen's gaze. Karen's assertiveness is self-serving, unapologetic, and if it is rooted in entitlement, you can bet as a woman it's an entitlement that doesn't extend to all areas of Karen's life. As a feminist, I find myself sympathizing with Karen. Even as a 30-something woman firmly planted in the millennial age group, I'm not ashamed to say I recognize myself as a Karen. Fourth wave feminism sure. is calling the cops on a cookout. Karen is the scourge <laughs> of the incompetent worker willing to call out bad service and get what is rightfully hers. Look, okay, there's a difference between bad service and there's a difference between being a jerk, okay? Like, if, I, if I'm waiting 20 minutes, if I'm waiting 30 minutes to get served, okay? Look, waiter, waitress, they're taking way too long, okay? Like, I want to go to, I want to go to IHOP. I want to get my $6 fried chicken sandwich, and I want to go home, right? I, I want, I want my sandwich, right? <laughs> but if, you know, they take 20, 30 minutes, you know what I do? You know what I do, chat? Re really? Really? I have my 3DS in my pocket. I have my Game Boy SP in my pocket. I have my phone in my pocket. I literally have things to keep me entertained in case an inconvenience, and it is, it's a minor inconvenience, comes up. Who cares? I'm playing Leaf Green in the middle of the IHOP. I'm playing Majora's Mask 3D in the middle of the IHOP. Like, sure, it's something that's like, yeah, no, like, I mean, cool, the service was kind of slow. I got my chicken sandwich in the end, though, so why should I care, right? Why should anyone care? Like, that's different than, well, why are you taking 20 to 30 minutes? I want my chicken sandwich and why I want you to speak to the manager because, dude, take some, take some blood pressure medication, maybe take a couple of gummies, chill out. Like, let, let's take it down like three pegs, my dude. <laughs> dude. It is a minor inconvenience. They're probably slammed. They're probably short staffed. It's the ho the I hoppy hour, right? They're gonna be busy. Chill out, right? Here, I'll get another Game Boy SP out of my bag, right? Which actually, in my bag, I actually have like 
all my Pokemon set up, which is actually kind of funny. Super nerdy kip of the day. But you see the difference here? You can acknowledge a minor inconvenience. You can acknowledge bad service. But you can be an adult about it. Or you can be a Karen about it. Like... I mean, I feel it's 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 pretty distinctive. This has to be satire. So I checked, and I regret to inform you, it is not satire. Why is it acceptable to vilify uh, Karen's particular brand of female consumerism? It's not female consumerism, it's, right, it's generalized. With misogyny and ageism comes threat from the future, and no amount of pronouns will save you. Superfluous, that's this a word. Turf again. They're all f***ing turfs! Here's the comments on the article. I agree with you about Karen. Men strike out against Karen for the obvious reasons. Nothing turns them on more than getting out torches and pitchforks against women who aren't going to start crying or supplying fellatio when the usual male tactics are used. Oh my gosh. You know what? Okay. Actually, subjectively wrong. I say subjectively because there is no better feeling than being in full armor and getting hit while in full armor. It is... Mm, mm, it's good. It's next level, okay? All I'm saying, okay? That's wrong. <laughs> Promise you, I don't need your subpar felatio. You see what I did there? See what I did there? I made the funny with the word because it's pronounced differently. <laughs> God, the brain rot is real in this video. I, d I promise, Karen, it's probably not that good. It's it's probably not that good. It's probably subpar. You probably need to go watch some visual aids. All I'm saying, right? <laughs> God, dude. Leave me, leave me my armor in peace. Like, dead-ass wrote a novel. This woman wrote a whole-ass book. I just scrolled down to the end. White women who turn down black dick and lady dick. No, dude, be come on. They deserve it. And ugly women can't be because no. they've done a favor. And yes, it is that bad. Wait. Uh. Is it? Okay, because so this gets into legal territory where there are some states and some places. Like, for instance, uh, as far as I'm aware, in Idaho until fairly recently, and I've gone over this before, uh, a man could not be physically arred by a woman because of the definition and they had to change laws to accommodate that right as someone right who's been subject to abuse and SA it sucks no one should ever go through that I don't care if you're a man woman non-binary trans don't care awful awful idea like no no one should be subject to that it's it's not okay like if you're trying to look at it from that perspective I see the logic but it's still dumb like is it a act being imposed upon you without your will or is it a non-consensual act yeah it's a non-consensual act bam you have your answer it is let's move on Th these talking points aggravate me because sa is sa right like non-consent is non-consent oh but what about consensual non-consent okay first first off there's there's talks that happen before that and they're safe words the fact that you've already brought that up means you have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> I've had way too many conversations. <laughs> Holy shit. Go to therapy. Yes. These people just have such a talent to turn any little thing into like an absolute travesty. Yes. And in all my years of just making fun of this dumb shit, it never gets old. So that's no. about all the time I have Funny. for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you like the unscripted rant style? I had a lot of fun with it. Special thank you to all my patrons. And I will see you all with a new video very soon. Bye. I love the Banui. Very cute. I like the colors. What a, what a weird concept. Like... That's a lot to take in. Like, at the end of the day, as I said it throughout the video, don't be a dick, okay? I understand. If you have a waiter or wait staff, you can say, going out to eat, right? Being the example. And they're throwing stuff at you. They're cussing at you. They're being rude to you. Okay. It's like, hey, look, like, I don't appreciate that. I, I, maybe you're having a bad day. You know, I, I really came here for certain. Like, you, you can defuse that situation in a non aggressive manner, right? At the end of the day, you can also just say, look, I just want to get my bill and leave, right? There are ways to handle it as an adult. Now, as an adult, I'm learning more and more. It's pick and choose your battles, right? Am I going to pick and choose battles over stupid comments? No. I have, I have better things to do with my day.
am I going to engage in discussion in my comment section with people that want to say, hey, Kip, you kind of had this wrong. This is actually what this is. Or, hey, Kip, I thought you could use some clarification. Yeah, I go to the comment section as much as I can, and I love your feed, your guys' feedback. It's super cool to read, super cool to interact with. I'm choosing my time to spend with those versus the people that go, Lamau reacts way too much in a reaction video. Like, my God, dude, please get some professional help. But if you haven't checked out Shion Head, go ahead and check out Shion Head down in the description down below. You will see a link to Shion Head's channel as well as this original video. Uh, if you are curious about more, I guess, the politics side of things, I personally don't really engage in that. I just deal with it in my personal life way too much. But Shion Head does have, I guess, a second political channel. I just like shouting it out. You know, I'm not obligated to, not incentivized to or forced to. Just I feel it's like, hey, this person does the thing. I know that a lot of people are interested in the thing. You should go check out the thing. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.